today we're going to get to talk about the most important thing in your life. Now you may be thinking that's your family, or love, or money, or religion, or faith. So we're here to tell you that it is your health. Now innately we know this. Now I'm going to give you an example. Ask a pregnant mom whether they're having a boy or a girl. And they will always say, it doesn't matter as long as it's healthy. And money doesn't matter either. You can spend a lifetime accumulating your wealth, but if you lose your health, you'll spend every last cent of it trying to get it back. So there's a better way to be a proactive way for your health. And that can only happen when you understand what health is. So I'm going to tell you a story. It's an incredible story. It's a fascinating story. It starts nine months before you were born. And the best part about the story, it's a true story about you. You know you started your life as a half-wit. Now some people still might be having some issues with that, but let me explain what I mean. Half of your wit or your intelligence comes from your dad, and half of your intelligence comes from your mom. And that comes together, and that forms one intelligence. We call that your innate intelligence. That intelligence is designed to develop you to your fullest potential of what is pre-programmed on your DNA from mom and dad. And it automatically is preloaded, so you don't have to worry about doing it. And that's pretty important. Could you imagine mom having to wake up one day and going, I gotta make a liver? She wouldn't be able to do that. So this pre-programmed automatic process is amazing. And it develops every cell, tissue, organ, and system of your body. <coughs> and it doesn't just stop once you're born. We look at a child growing on the outside growing from a little baby all the way to an adult. And we, we see the outward development, but internally things are growing too. Your brain, your spinal cord, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your spleen, your circulatory system, your immune system, everything is developing. And it's under the direction of your innate intelligence. And it knows exactly when to develop these things, and it also knows exactly when to stop. Which is absolutely amazing. Your innate intelligence, that inborn power and wisdom within, uses your brain to control all of these processes. Research shows there's over 52 million bits of information that can process through the brain every hour. That's a pretty impressive computer. And what is it processing? It's processing all the input that's coming into your, your body. All the experiences that you're having. We call those your PEC experiences. PEC stands for P-E-C. Physical experiences, emotional experiences, and chemical experiences. That is life. We are under those experiences every second of the day. Right now, you're hearing my voice. You're adapting to that. The experience of the environment, the temperature in here, the food that you eat today. All of these are the experiences that we place our body in. And if you put your body into good PEC experiences, everything functions the way you were designed. And it keeps you in a state of health. If you put your body into a lot of negative PEC experiences, you start to get overwhelmed and overloaded with negative which then causes a breakdown. Think of your computer system. If you're running too many programs, what's going to happen? You wind up starting to get your computer to start slowing down. Eventually, it starts to freeze. And no matter how many times I hit that enter button, it just doesn't help. And the same thing happens with our life. If you add too much negative, the body starts to get overwhelmed. I want you to think of the electrical system of your house. See, our bodies are like electrical systems. The nerve system, the communication system, and the electrical system. If you put too many plugs in an outlet, what's going to happen to your circuit breakers? They're going to trip. They're going to blow. 
I want everybody right now to feel the back of your neck. You feel all those bumps? All of those bumps, those are your, your, your bumps of the spine. Those are your vertebrae. And just like our circuit breakers that are designed to protect the house from being overloaded with negative stress, these are our circuit breakers. If we have too many negative impulses coming in, trying to be processed, you trip the circuit breaker, wherever it is. And basically, there's two different areas where you can have this disconnect happen. One is the upper cervical area, and two, it's everything below that. I like to keep things simple. And we know that when the impulse is coming in and trying to get to the brain to be processed, and then for the brain to then send messages back down to the body, which we call the brain-body connection, if it's doing so in a positive environment, then everything is working the way you were designed. That means you'll be healthy. That means you'll reach your full potential. That upper cervical area is especially important. And the latest research is showing that another system gets involved and gets affected if you overwhelm this area. It's the cerebrospinal fluid flow. Okay? That, the CSF, for the cerebrospinal fluid, is the fluid that bathes your brain and central nerve system. And it's designed to clean that system. Think of like the Intel commercials with the guys in the, the white suits, hermetically sealed environment. That's what the CSF is. That central nerve system is a separate system. And it's got a filtering system. And it's filtering by the, the fluid flowing. Over 11 liters a day, it's filtered through that system. If there is a misalignment, what we call a subluxation of that upper cervical area, it now throws off the ability for the filter to work properly. I want you to think of a fish tank and a filter. Beautiful fish tank, clear water, coral, seaweed, fish. What happens if you clog that filter for a couple days? What's the water going to look like? You know, pretty bad, pretty swampy. What's going to happen to everything on the inside? It's going to start to die off. Well, they're finding out that that's exactly what's going on with our central nerve system when you have this disconnect and it's altered CSF flow. In fact, one of the leading researchers in this, Dr. Raymond Damanian, who is the inventor of MRI, has used his technology to document the CSF flow. And what he has found is amazing. He said that when this is altered, you get a breakdown. And that leads to degenerative neurological disorders. What are they? He said they are Alzheimer's, ALS, MS, Parkinson's, and even autism. You think this is a pretty important area to keep working properly? I'd say so. Working properly means we're going to be healthy. And we already agreed that health is the most important thing in your life. So, this brings me to the end of the story. And like every good ending to a story, there's someone that comes in and saves the day. And the person that's going to save the day for you in order to be healthy is your chiropractor. Your chiropractor is a highly educated and skilled individual that knows exactly how to locate and correct those misalignments that we call subluxations that cause that disconnect, dis-ease, disharmony, and dis-health. So, knowing what we know now about health, let me ask you a couple of questions. Who would benefit from having their spines checked and corrected? Who would benefit? Everyone. And who would benefit from this checking and correcting process? I should say, what time? When would it start? What would be the most important thing to do? When would we start this process? At birth. And how long should we do this process of checking and correcting? Or as long as you want to stay healthy. So, 
The last thing is this. The only thing left to do is for you to figure out a time for all of the people that you love in your circle to get checked and corrected so that they can experience health and reach their full potential. Sound good? Yeah. Yes. Thanks.